Hey guys, so this isn't going to be a normal video. I just wanted to go over some details of some shit that's going down in Japan. So recently they put out the new banners and we're not pleased by any stretch of the imagination. These two paid banners, they're fine. It's uh, This one is 10 pools, 100 shards of 10 different units for 1500 paid gems. And this is 10 uh, gear pieces, all of which would come as 5 star. And that's all guaranteed, so these are actually good banners. These banners are not okay, though. Like, the non-paid banners in Japan right now are atrocities. This is a 5-step, 2,500 at each step, with a base rate of the feature banner unit at 0.5%. They dropped the bonus rate to 2 times instead of 3 times, so instead of having a 3% unit uh, chance for a unit, like the Soul banner... The original Soul Banner had a 3% bonus rate. This one only has a 2% bonus rate, or a 2 times bonus rate on a 0.5%. So it's a 1% with the bonus rate as opposed to 3% for Soul. They also stripped the Whale Coins, or the Gacha Coins, or the Summon Coins, or whatever you want to call them, from the Gacha entirely. And the final step is just 25 extra shards. There is no guarantees. This is the exact same banner, but for a different unit. So, this is the 9-step premium summon, where you summon every step for 2.5k, and there's a selector at step 9. We've been getting this banner since around Christmas time. Almost every single, if not every single, Nenso banner has been like this since Christmas. The collab units are only shard banners. There is no banner for the units themselves. If you're unlucky, you'll be paying 25 thousand gems to get a single collab unit just to pop them so then you can use shards or elemental shards in order to raise them up and then you have to they have their gate 5 open so then that's like an additional 270 plus 190 if you want to actually max out these units with the kaigen collab frags and there's five different units and Meliodas is not even in the gacha anymore this is the only standard ba uh, Nensa banner we have left, and it's absolutely worthless if you don't have one of the collab units. And this is a 10-step with the standard 500, 1500, and then 2.5k to step 5 with a guaranteed Nensa on step 5. And then it goes to step 10, so you can maximum break the Nensa. This is the standard collab Nensa, so I don't really have too many issues with it. It's just that it's useless and not even worth pulling the 500 if you don't have these collab units. Um, I'm not even sure what this banner is. I need to check this real quick because I didn't look up, look it up. So it looks to me like it's just a standard, uh, Nenso banner. Oh, wait, never mind. This is a 365 that I already pulled on. Never mind. That's, uh, same with this. That's a 365 unit banner. So I already think I went over those. This is the leftover Setsuna and Zane Nenso 9-step with the selector at step 9. And then they have the 2,500 uh, shard gachas, which I think are too expensive. They do have this free one, but if you actually look at the rates, and this is just Zahara's rate, is you only get... I'll actually do it for you so you can see. I actually left this up so you can see what this banner actually is. This is a one-chance banner. Just going to skip through. Okay, so I got some rainbow shards. That's pretty good, but it's only three of them. And you're like, yeah, it's free. And we do have those sh those unit banners for the collab units. We get one free each day, but we only have one draw. And the rate for Zahar is 0.75. And I know the rate for Meliodas was lower if he was even guaranteed at all. Unfortunately, I don't have him up right now to check. Actually... Yeah, I, I don't know if the free and the... Uh, actually, I can double-check right here if the rates are the same. Or at least if Zahara's rates are the same. Okay, so Zahara's rates are the same. So I can check the rates on... Let's say Diane here. And it's 0.5% instead of 0.75%. So they're actually even rarer to get on the single draw, if you can even pull them. You get, like, a single draw for, like, a couple days, and it's, like, a 1 in 200 chance of actually pulling the unit like that. You're better off pulling it from the daily pool, not like your one daily. The uh, gear banner hasn't changed at all, but the gear banner's always been sort of bad. And 
what's this look like? The standard rates on this. Wait, was that the Nunso? Oops, I need the... Do we even have a standard unit banner? I don't know if we actually have a standard... Oh, wait, never mind. It's on the rare. Duh. So, I see Diane, King, um, Meliodas, and... Yeah, so the three collab units are actually on the point are actually the point five percent on the rare banner. This would actually be the rare summer banning dog <laughs> like seriously is like the best banner you can pull for these units probably just about. I mean if you want to pull it a banner that has multiple units, because if you pull on the rare banner, that means you have a one point five percent chance of just getting a collab unit per pool. I mean that that's how bad these banners are. And to make it even worse is we go into the summon coin shop and there isn't even a unit selector ticket in here. We legit just have the Denso selector for 1500 and it does have the new Nensos in there. So there is that, but they removed some of the whale coin from some of the banners. So like you can't even get the coins and this is where it gets even more egregious. So the new sin material is worth twice as much as the normal sin. But that's expected. What isn't expected is just how expensive this material is. So the new Kaigen, the new Kaigen gates require this material. And I actually didn't check how much it is. Let me just check that real quick. I, I'm doing this uh, basically just on the spot because I've got to leave to go somewhere here very shortly. And I really wanted to update you guys on what was going on in Japan. Because this is just atrocious. What was I doing again? Right, checking the... Uh, Checking the Kaigen gates for materials. So if I go over here, so it looks like it's 20 required for Gluttony's gate, and then additional 20. So you need a total of 40 of these. You need 40 of this material here to max both gate four and five. So it's 20 per gate, right? The next best way to get this material is through EX coins. And I will pull that shop up here so you guys can see. So these are EX coins right here. I'm actually gonna grab this quick because they put a sin deal in here each reset, I guess, these days. There are a thousand each in here for five of them. So that's 4,000 EX coins per gate when the standard sin is 2000 you get like 10 to 20 of these per 50 ap you drop into an ex if you're lucky and the other way to get them is through draft coins and i think you get five drafts a day and you only get the full points for winning and they're the same price as a sin in here so they're egregiously expensive with draft coins too so that that is where we're at right now. It is bad. It le like these these are the worst banners I've seen yet, and the banners have been getting worse. If things don't turn around soon, the future of the game is not looking super bright. I mean, I'm pretty sure that Taga is already seeing player drop off, but the fact that they just doubled down on the whaling it might just make it worse. We'll, we'll have to see. But I, I can't see a healthy future in Japan, at least, at this point in time. And that should worry you guys for Global, too. Because <clears throat> this is where you get all your source material from. Like, if you guys start seeing banners go this way in Global, like, you need to get on Facebook and make Facebook burn. Because, like, this kind of stuff is unacceptable, and it does irreparable harm to the game because it's already really hard for a new player to catch up in taga because you have to get all the units then you have to get them up to max limit break and then you need an additional 270 shards up to 270 shards for the first three gates and then you need up to an additional 190 shards on top of that for the next two and if you do gates four and five you have to have gates one two and three maxed so that means it's a guaranteed 270 shards and rates have been getting lower. The 
Zane rate is different from the Chloe rate on the frag banners. Those 2.5k frag banners, they're different rates on based on the rarity. They even upped Zane's coin cost in the summon coin shop by 50 when he got his gates 4 and 5. He used to be 50 summon coins. He's 100 now. So, yeah, it, needless to say, a lot of us are very frustrated right now. And it it's it's not looking good. It really isn't. So, I mean, I, I hate to bring you this video that's super bleak. But, like, I, I thought that it would be best that you guys actually understand why we're upset with the banners. And to prevent any kind of misinformation. Like, because this stuff is bad. It really is. Like, I might have 33k gems right now. But I got those because I haven't bought, like... I haven't rolled on a banner since December. Like, legit. Like, I haven't rolled on a banner in Taga in over a month. Except for the two 365s that I got junk from. So, in the last month, I spent less than 1,000 gems on anything. And, like, we also had a bunch of free gems, and I got lucky in that gem gacha I mentioned earlier. So... That's all I have for today. I am going to be out of town all day, so I probably will not be putting up any videos today, aside from this one. I just thought I'd put this up before I uh, leave. Uh, this new uh, thing down here you see with uh, Ouroboros on it, I'll go through that later when I've done it, and I can show you guys what it is. Um, it's part of the new story. They're going back to the actual founding of Alchemy with this story and i actually am really interested because one of the things i like about taga is as bad as the story is i really do like the world of taga i i like the world and like a lot of the concepts and while a lot of the concepts are tired and cliche i i do like the kind of spin they put on it i love the unit design in this game and i love the tactic i love tactical rpgs like this it's just like it's at some point in time enough is enough and you can't let, let something like sunk cost fallacy, like, prevent you from making a smart decision. So, I, it, it pains me to do this, but I kind of had to make this video because I know this is blowing up right now in the Discord. And it's, some of it's already been blowing over into Reddit. So I wanted to at least make sure you guys understood why we're so angry. So it doesn't just sound like we're raging, because when, if you remember back when the Full Metal Alchemist banners came around and everyone was upset about those banners, well, you haven't seen nothing yet. When those banners came around, I'm like, that looked pretty par for the course, because despite popular opinion, Japan banners are, I've said it before, are worse unless they're better. More often than not, Japan banners are worse, but they give us more resources to use to pull on them. We get more gems in uh, Japan than you guys do in Global. We get more AP, so we just have more resources in general to get these gems, to pull on these worse banners. Um, but the banners are starting to become so bad that at this point in time, I'd say gem efficiency to banner is significantly better in Global than it is in Japan. Because it's just awful here. Anyways, I gotta get going here, so... Uh... I thanks for watching as always and I hope to see you next time. Uh hopefully next time anyways.